One of the craziest things that Bob Lazar said, and he said this way back in the 1980s, he said there's a very bizarre religious aspect to it. And see if you could find him saying this, because I don't want to, I don't want to paraphrase this, but he said that what they were, it's, he said, it's going to sound crazy to say, but the way they have it described is that human beings are vessels. I did confirm things. See, I almost want to ask him, not even on air, just like off air, like, okay, so what exactly was? It's one of the craziest things that Bob Lazar said, and he said this way back in the 1980s. He said there's a very bizarre religious aspect to it. And see if you could find him saying this, because I don't want to, I don't want to paraphrase this. But he said that what they were, it's, he said it's going to sound crazy to say, but the way they have it described is that human beings are vessels for souls, that we're containers. And that that's why they're interested in us, that we're containers of souls. Now, I want you to imagine a scenario where AI is ubiquitous in the universe and that this is where intelligent creatures they get to a certain point in their evolution where they create an artificial intelligence and that artificial intelligence is far superior but in order to do it again on another planet you you you, you kind of have to start the same way you did it on earth you got to start with biological organisms that have souls so if you want to make intelligent life, you got to start out with souls because you have to have these creatures that have like these human reward systems about breeding and controlling resources and controlling real estate and, and territory and that those are the ones that are going to like scramble to innovate and then they give birth to this superior life form. But the only way to do it again somewhere else is you got to do the same thing. So like if you believe that life exists in a similar form all throughout the cosmos that there's kind of similar fish and kind of similar thing I don't know if that's the case. We have no evidence But if that is the if that's how if what we're seeing in these different Galaxies and what we're seeing in these different solar systems that we observe is planets in these Goldilocks zones if that was the case that the way to get these things to keep doing it, you need to get there the, the, it's the soul it's the thing inside the living organism that's causing biological evolution, the, the actually essence of the creature, that right. this thing is what's going to determine whether or not it hits the innovation level required to achieve artificial intelligence, and then that's what they are. So what we are to them is like these little soul containers, because they don't have souls anymore. Man. How about that mindfuck? Listen to it this. It is a mindfuck. <laughs> Extremely classified document dealing with religion and it's about that thick. Period. But why would there be any classified material dealing with religion? I want to go back to the religion thing. I want you to say it. <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's so far out. It's, it's, uh, All right, it's your objection there. has been noted. Okay. What does it say? That we're containers. That's how, that's how supposedly the aliens look at us. That we are nothing but containers. Containers of? Containers. Maybe containers of souls. You can come up with whatever theory you want. But we're containers. And that's how we're mentioned in the documents. Um, that religion was specifically created. So we have some rules and regulations for the sole purpose of not damaging the containers. Yes. Wrap your head around that. I so, mean, there is... Look, we're there about is... five years away from talking to a robot, Dave Smith that's indiscernible from you and if that thing has quantum computing power in its fucking metal head and it becomes another version of life a much more superior version of life and then they keep doing that forever all throughout the cosmos but the only oh, way man. to get there are you going to start having ai dave on the podcast instead of me I want them like to do that. my ads for me. <laughs> I'll hire AI Joe to do my ads for me. You still me. want to do the podcast? But you're like, I don't, just reading ads. Well, I don't it's, want AI Joe to do the podcast because AI Joe is going to have to rely on all of my opinions I formed up until now. And I might change them tomorrow. Yeah. I, I can't have AI Joe assume it's going to know how I think about things because mm -hmm. I don't know how I think about things. I like to right. be open-minded to the point where I'm willing to take into consideration new ways of looking at things, new possibilities. I don't know if AI is going to do that. It's going to be too smart for that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, it is an interesting 
It is such an interesting thing. But on the point of containers, isn't there something, and I, I'm literally just kind of thinking out loud as I say this, but there is kind of something where we all do accept to some degree that that's true, that we're kind of container. I mean, like, just have in you, the sense that- Have you seen a dead body? Well, right. If you look at a dead body, it's like- uh, It's empty. Yeah. It's, you don't look at that like, oh, that's, there's that. You're like, no, let's put that in the ground because yeah. the, the person, what we think of as the person is gone. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not saying there's anything- like to controversial that. about that statement, like an atheist or a religious person or anyone would kind of agree with that. But it's something we all just kind of take for granted. But if you really think about it, it is like the magic of what makes us us is something that's being contained by this meat shell. Yeah. And it's different. It's not the same thing. And it's not really anything that we, at least at our level of scientific understanding, can really tangibly measure. Right. Like, what is it from the reductionist atheist position? Like electromagnetic waves in your brain. Right. And then when that goes, it's just a piece of meat. Right. Now again, it's, I don't know, it's a little bizarre. We Maybe. don't 